hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again so after a bit of a break you know well quite a big one actually <laughs> due to just you know enjoying the hot summer days and taking care of our newly adopted baby a fluffy one not an actual baby <laughs> which you might see running around at some point it's a lovely gentleman cat uh, that you might have seen on my channel actually because I posted a picture there you know um, and simply not to burn out before the season starts I am back uh, and I'm super hyped for this season and I made a poll about uh, a month ago whether I should play rogue or barbarian in season 5 and with just one vote difference it is once again the barbarian that you guys you guys voted for i was kind of excited to play with Andariel because uh it got buffed to heaven okay but at the same time rent my all-time favorite ability for barbarian got buffed the ring of the revenous got buffed almost exactly as i said in my theory craft video you know about a month ago so i am super super excited for that i am actually not gonna be rushing for flight build which is still very likely very 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 likely uh gonna be the s plus tier for barbarian and simply the best you know build to push i am gonna go for ren because the ren is so much more fun the animations are just so cool when you swing your weapons you know all across the screen with the rent increased size and yeah i'm just way more excited to play that than another season of play where the gameplay is gonna be exactly the same uh there will be some changes uh mostly to affixes and tempers because the heavy reach node is now locked to 45 percent uh also gushing wounds got nerfed and if we uh look at it um right here it no longer turns 140 percent of our crit strike damage into multiplicative uh damage increase but it is now 70 percent the way i understand it right because if you, we read this when causing an enemy to bleed you have a chance equal to your crit strike chance to increase the bleed amount by 70 percent x so that means that this is up at all times based on how much crit strike chance you have right but if you have 100 then every single bleed is increased by 70 percent x doesn't matter what stats you have doesn't matter if you have any crit strike damage at all and then it turns the crit strike damage into an additive no longer a multiplicative but just an additive meaning that it loses value like pretty much everything else is more value okay for flay uh the damage over time is more stats <laughs> he just scratched my uh <laughs> scratched my chair i guess he wants to play um so damage over time affix is more stats than crit strike damage and is up at all times for flay and flay has pretty much no direct damage so it will make more sense probably we will have to you know uh, see some tests first but it will make more sense for damage over time affixes to be on our weapons and then damage to close enemies to be as our tempers because yeah that's up at all times we don't need 100 crit strike chance you know uh for it to take effect it is pretty much yeah up at all times especially because we pull all of the enemies with our steel grasp towards us right so yeah crit strike damage is gonna lose a lot of value uh, i think that only for the rent build we are gonna keep crit strike damage as an affix because rent deals some direct damage some good direct damage as well uh obviously way less than all the other core skills right but it still deals direct damage so it will be more value i think than damage over time affix even though the uh the stat or you know it can roll higher right than than crit strike damage so i'm pretty sure that we are no longer stacking crit strike damage so we are just going for the hemorrhage cap of 45 percent uh then we are 
going for as much crit strike chance as possible because we want gushing wounds to be proking at all times and unfortunately um you know all the other passives got nerfed a lot so so like yeah like like this this, this will be the, the most value simply through the crit strike chance right unconstrained actually is 60 percent axe so it's very very close and in some cases especially if paired with breath of the berserker ultimate uh i think Un unconstrained might even for bleed builds take over gushing wound okay it might it, it just might when paired with breath of the berserker okay because these two just go together so well so well but for now gushing wounds okay so so yeah we're just going for all the caps you know 30 percent axe for damage while berserking uh etc fortunately ring of the starless skies ring of the revenants good change they now give us insane amounts of crit strike chance if we even manage to get ga on both we get like 50 percent with the masters just from these two items so our crit strike chance is gonna be massive like absolutely massive like 100% crit strike chance definitely definitely achievable and uh you know rage of harrogate also gives us crit strike chance this season so yeah like 100% crit strike chance is definitely what we're gonna have like we are gonna be critting every with every single attack right or at least we are going to be close to it. Once again, it depends if we manage to get the greater affixes on it, if we manage to get the masterworks. Um, so yeah, but for a lot of stuff, we will have to wait and see the tests or, well, test it ourselves, right? So my plan for this season for Barbarian is to definitely, definitely start with a rent. Then I'm going to go for Whirlwind because, yeah, Whirlwind, once again, a lot of fun, you know. And if a rent doesn't turn out to be super, super fast, like Whirlwind is, for just, you know, speed farming 101 pits in one minute, um... Then yeah, we will need Whirlwind for that if we want to super maximize. And then I will try to, you know, get the achievement for 150 pit with rent. I think it should definitely, definitely be possible. I think it should not even be hard to do with really good gear. But if it's not possible, then uh, I think it's time for Fly again. So that's the plan for uh, this season. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, like... I am repeating myself over and over, but I am a main bleed barbarian, so bleeds, 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 that's what I'm gonna focus on, uh, that's what I'm, uh, what my builds are gonna be, uh, about, and if we manage to, you know, do a lot of builds as a barbarian, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, we will also have time to do rogue. Uh, for rogue, uh, I main ranged rogue, so I'm definitely gonna go for ranged rogue. Um, I used to play panshot, so I think panshot is what I'm gonna go for. It's a lot of fun. It has um, it has a lot of uh, lucky hit chance, you know, which will help with the boosted and Daryl. Uh, but then again maybe uh just pure puncture you know just spamming those super fast punctures for for Andariel with just some supporting abilities might turn out to be the best either way if you want to have the best build for rogue it will definitely be Andariel no matter what you do Andariel is so damn busted so damn busted this season that yeah all the rogues build are gonna play it doesn't matter if it's barrage or whatever so uh yeah so stay tuned, thanks for watching, it's time for some leveling baby and see you in the next one, ciao!